All right, now let's talk about how to use a cutoff for an attack. There's a noisy cutoff used by a lot of people, especially in the golden age. And if you play a lot of recordings of great singers of the past, you'll hear them going, ah, 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 ah. And there's a little noise. Some people call it the grunt. Uh, they called, they called uh, um, I've forgotten what they called it. I can think about it in a minute. But it's ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, and you can hear this little, uh. now, to learn how to do that, it's a great thing to do because if I can maintain that during entire phrases, ah, uh, I'm planning my cutoff way back there when I first started singing, my mind has already reached out way ahead of me and I'm planning that cutoff. This is really gets important when you start doing uh, bigger music. Uh, those of you who have bigger voices, more dramatic voices, you're going to end up... Now, a lot of singers over grunt. We are not uh, members of the Xavier Cougat Orchestra, you know, where he goes, da, 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 oh, da, 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 oh, and they use that effect like crazy, and we, we're not supposed to use that much. The rule is a little grunt is never supposed to exceed the volume or substance of the tone you are singing. So if I'm going, ah, 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 so I can make a bigger grunt cut off if I'm singing louder or something. I'm sweet that he smeared the fire. Then that grunt fits all with all the other grunting I'm doing <laughs> to make the sound. Uh, it's funny, nobody really has any words for this, so, you know, it's, uh, grunting is one of the sort of funny words we end up using. Uh, but if you listen to, to uh, the great singers of the past, especially the Italians, because the Italian language, very often the words end with a, with a vowel. Remember that the Spanish make their plurals with S's, but the Italians make their plurals with E's or E's. So if I go, eh, E, eh. E, it's hard to say S, S, I can't really use the grunt method. So nobody can quite sing like the Italians if they're well trained because their language is so incredibly suited uh, for, for singing. If I use my uh, techniques to get out of my nose and get my voice up here, and I go ba 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 ba, where's the cutoff? Now we gotta talk about location, where is it? Ba 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 ba. All right, so if you can't identify this, one way is to do the miniature cough. I go, ah, 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 as soon as I've identified the miniature cough, ah, 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 I stick it one at the end and pretend, oh, that's my cutoff. Watch what happens. Ah, 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 ah. Now I'm using my cutoff as the attack for the next phrase. Oh, clever, huh? So people do it all the time, you know? See where I am? Oh, I'm right on my diaphragm. I'm ready now to sing the next phrase. So you got... So what I'm doing is I'm using the cutoff on the preceding phrase. I switch it like... Psychologically, I switch it to my brain from the cutoff of the last phrase to the attack for the next phrase. And that way, all of my attacks are miniature coughs, recommended by no less than Lily Lehman. The, the medical name of that is Valsalva Maneuver, and I've talked about that on some of these tapes. But this is a clever way to use it, where you're going, ah, 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 ah. See what I did? I attacked the next note, the next phrase, by using the cutoff from the preceding phrase. Ah, 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 ah. I'm not changing a thing. I'm maintaining the grunt, if you want to call it that. I will not be offended because I've heard it before. But you grunt, then the attack also. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I don't like it. I think it's ugly. Well, fine. Tell it to Caruso because he used it all the time. He, the world's the most beautiful voice in history. He used it all the time. Some of, the, some of the people do it, like, like, like Gili use, use the sob all the time. If I do, 
I'm left with a grunt cut off, whether I like it or not. So then a lot of people say, oh, no, don't do that falsetto. Don't do that, you know. Well, Gili did it, and he was a, the, the, the second greatest tenor in history after Mr. Caruso. And Caruso did it, who was the greatest, not to mention Rosa Poncel, the greatest Italian soprano, after Luisa Tetrasini, who used it all the time. <laughs> in other words, you hear singers, the Italian singers use it all over the place. Why not? If I'm using it, uh, let's say I'm doing it in Red Shirt uh, Let's say, Device uh, Svisa Diesel Knaben. So I mean, it's Herz Graben. So I can even do it on an end with my mouth closed. Graben. Mm, 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 mm. So people say, imitate a baby going, uh, 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 or a puppy. Uh, 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 uh. The idea is to find this diaphragmatic attachment and then don't lose it when you're singing music, right? I'm ready for the next attack. See what I did? I cut off, then switched mentally. I switched over and made it my attack point. So you can use what Lily Lemon called a miniature cough all the time for your attacks. And we'll get into it a little bit, but, but what I like to do is hide these in performance and not let anybody hear me grunting and still and stuff. So, but I, you do it in, in practice, you do it in warm-up sometimes. Ah, 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 ah. Then I'm going to stick it at the end. Ah, 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 ah. Now I'm going to use the end one as the attack for the next, as my uh, attack function for the next wave. And the first thing you know, I'm just sailing along, especially in some of these roles that are so busy and have so much text and so much words. You just sit there and go. <laughs> and if you really get good at it, you can hide it and nobody can hear it. Should I have to go audibly? If I know where that is, why can't I just sing there? Ah, do I have to have a cutoff? Ah, or can I know where it is and just sing there? Ah, 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 ah. I'm still singing there. I'm using my grunt attack and my grunt cutoff, except now I'm embarrassed. I don't want you to hear it because it sounds like I'm an amateur singer with a, maybe a pretty good sound because it just throws the sound up in the mask. Now, and I like it up there. So the whole idea is to find ways to achieve, you know, like let's say Mr. G. Mr. G was the sober of all time. My old teacher was great friend, Olga Reese was great friends with him and she said she stopped going to the opera to hear him sing in the opera because he, he sobbed so much. So she only went to his concerts when he sang a lot of songs. He didn't cry, he didn't cry as much. But if I cry a lot, right? Ah, ah, ah. Why can't I just hide that? If I know where that is, where that the attachment of falsetto to the voice, ah, and the women go, oh, 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 and you hear some of the old recordings. Do I really have to do that all the time so that it's audible? Or can I remember what the function did and how it placed my lean of my breath? on my diaphragm, and why can't I just sing this? Do I have to go, ah, If I know where that is, I'll let it sing the same function, the same place, but I don't let you hear what's going on. And when I warm up, who knows? I'm having a bad day. I'm trying to warm up my boys. I'm trying everything under the sun. I'm going, ah, 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 ah. I'm doing everything I can. Oh, where's my diaphragm? Ah, I've lost my diaphragm. It's not there anymore. I think it's just a hole down there. There's nothing down. And some days you feel, oh my gosh. And that's when you need a lot of techniques, sometimes a lot of warm up exercises to get the voice to work. But it's interesting that if you do a lot of these, a lot of these vocalises, Mm, 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 ah. I do that lip clamp, it puts the voice right in my nose. Mm, 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 
ah, but when I open my mouth and sing ah, it's nowhere near my nose. It goes way up here. What happens down here? Mm, ah, and now I've got that cut off. Do I have to let you hear it? Mm, ah, 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 ah. Get the idea? Anyway, play around with this a little bit, and let's see if you uh, like it. And somebody, some coach, some teacher, some friend will say, oh, God, that's so ugly. Don't do that. Don't do that. So do it in private. Don't tell anybody that you're going to do grunting cutoffs. And uh, then you're going to hide them when you perform. Imagine going, una furti varagrima. But Julia Rosa Poncel going, in questi fieri momenti. You'll hear great singers doing it sometimes on every, the end of every word, if it's a very, very intense, dramatic piece of music, right? At least in the Italian school. Now, that is not true of the Germans. Once we start pulling in like this, ah, my voice is suspended, and I don't have that uh, leaned type cutoff anymore. You know, they all work. I mean, why shouldn't they all work? That's all. We just want to know how to do it. Uh, look at the Spindo singers. They don't breathe at all. They go, Pfft. now I'm either empty or half empty, and I go, ah, 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 ah. there it is. See? Un dia l'azzero spazio guarda e profondo. There's the cutoff. I'm not sure I can avoid it if I've got that much spingita going. Spingita means to push. So if I blow all my air out, now the only way I can get the breath out is to squeeze it. So I go, ah, 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 and I'm squeezing like mad. If some coach or somebody says to you, oh, don't breathe, don't breathe, don't breathe, no, no, they don't know what they're talking about. It'll put you into a spinto method. The word spinto comes from the word spingere, which means to push. So it'll put you in a squeezing, pushing function in your, in your rib cage. And the first thing you know, you may not have the voice that can stand to be squeezed and pushed. You have to remember, there are certain kind of voices that we call spinto voices that need that. Not only can they stand there, but they need that. Well, well, just listen to some great singers, you know? And you tell me who survived who had the long career. Some people are lyrical spintos, lyric squeezed, right? They can do anything. Richard Tucker couldn't do anything. I mean, the guy could sing the most beautiful lyric phrases and beautiful lyric... I mean, I heard him do Così Fantutti, of all things. Fantastic. Martha, fantastic. Really lyric music. Then he turned right around and do Vespi Siciliani, the best darn Verdi tenor I ever heard. Just squeezing, banging the high notes, just fantastic, right? So uh, some people can do this, and that's why I always try to teach everybody to learn uh, several different methods, unless the voice is absolutely, typically, uh, you know, it's very obvious that a person has a very high coloratura soprano or a very high coloratura tenor, like a Rossini tenor, or somebody is a lyric bass or dramatic bass, you know? I mean, you really have to go... Ah, now, what's the weight of that voice against a full orchestra? See? If I've got to sing against a full orchestra, it's not how loud I sing, right? It's how thick my voice is naturally. And without me, I, we talked about the normal speech phonation. I have to go, ah, and have a voice big enough to sing huge dramatic operas without killing myself and blowing my brains out all the time singing with volume. It's killing a lot of our young singers today. Magnificent voices and talents, but they're blowing their brains out, right? All right, anyway, that's an idea. That's something for you guys to think about, okay? Okay, bye.